provisional pole sitter Greg Moore. Raul Boisel is on the course now. Well, you know what I'm seeing here a little bit, Paul, is I'm seeing guys like Alan Tur Jr. and Greg Moore that have really well handling cars and they've got a power plant that's delivering and Goodyear's obviously come up with a good tire. These other people like Ribeiro have shown us great speed, a 238 this morning, obviously a tow, and he's running around in the 231 mark. Maybe Mercedes, uh, Goodyear have caught up uh, in that uh, time frame since May. We're watching Ford Cosworth power here. I think one thing we know is that the uprated Mercedes engine is here in everybody's hands, and it certainly looks like Goodyear on a track that they have a lot of information on may be performing better. Jan Bikas? Well, Paul, there's an interesting note about how many warm-up laps we're seeing today. We're seeing almost everyone take more than usual. Three seems to be the average as Raul comes around to finish his final warm-up lap. The reason? They feel the tires are so grippy for this particular race that the car actually has too much grip for the first couple of laps. Normally, you know, in qualifying, you want to use the tires when they are the stickiest, but they feel that they need to actually run a few laps to scrub some of the grip away so the car will free up and go fast. I'll tell you what, Jan, I've, I've driven a lot of cars, and uh, I know you have. We sure like that grip, but I do know what you're talking about. If there's too much grip here, it makes the car feel like it's bound up. Rick Mears, who was one of the all-time greats on an oval, and uh, Rick told me that the best way to get a car around here fast was loose, where you're just coming off a two with the car just wanting the back end, just wanting to slide a little bit and step out. Uh, that's, of course, just for qualifying. You don't want to run a race like that, but it, uh, you know, you're trying to get it right out there on the edge. If you got too much grip in those tires, it's going to slow you down. So Raul Boisel driving for Barry Green, the uh, team that put together last year's championship. Brings her way down as he comes across the line trying to straighten out that run into the corner. 228.229 miles an hour. Raul Boisel. Well, you're also trying to do one other thing or two other things there. You're trying to use the banking to come downhill to gain a little speed, and you're trying to shorten the circuit just a little bit. And, of course, when you're, uh, when you're coming across the line, you don't really have to make turn one very pretty. You can, you can go <laughs> right up into it and not worry about it. That's right. So Raul Boisel completes his qualification run here, and let's go down to Gary Gerald. Andre Ribeiro talking with members of his team. Andre, now we saw these big numbers in practice with the cooler temperatures with traffic. Are you disappointed that you could only go 231-2 or change? No, we knew that this morning was uh, a, a traffic situation and we were working for the race. So for the race conditions, we have a fantastic car and we are, we are still concentrating for the race. Of course, it's nice to be on the pole position, it's nice to be on the front, but this race is 500 miles. We wish you well, thanks. Thank you. So there's Andre Ribeiro, who many had thought had the pole here, but he's actually right now on the outside of the front row. Raul Boisel was able to qualify on the outside of the second row, sixth starting position, 228.405 miles an hour. This is Christian Fittipaldi out now, Jan Vigas. Well, I told you earlier that some of the Honda runners were experimenting with air boxes to feed some air to the turbochargers. Well, Christian Fittipaldi with Ford Power is the first car I've seen out there also trying an air box. So let's see if you force some more air into the turbo here at 40-inch boost regulations, if we'll make that Ford Cosworth go any quicker. So what you're talking about really is volume of air as he takes the green flag and starts his run because you, you can't increase the boost in it. So you're just forcing more air into the charge. Right. And hopefully they'll turn it up just a little bit. And a lot of that they're playing with. Notice here on his hand, just going down his back straight, how his right hand is down a little bit. That's because they're staggering the car. That means the right side rear tire is bigger than the other ones. And it tries to turn the car to the left. So when you're going down uh, uh, into a corner, it just naturally turns to the left. But when you're going down a straightaway, a flat back straightaway like that, you got to kind of correct it and keep the thing going straight. You got to turn back to the right. Working the second of two laps. First lap at 226.697 miles an hour, 31.76. And it'll be checkered flag as he comes around at the conclusion of this lap. Christian Fittipaldi. 
little mechanical change on his car, as Jan told you. And his second lap comes in at 226.7. Back to back, 31 sevens. So Christian Fittipaldi makes it into the field in the eighth starting position. Greg Moore still sits on the pole.